We're going to trace some of the Harmony interurban line that ran from Boggs and Buell department store downtown Pittsburgh from the 20s to about 1931. It headed north to Newcastle and, and Butler. Uh, a lot of the original right-of-way is still all around us. This is at Sloop Road and Highland in the North Hills. It's a picture of this massive trestle that was here uh, at that time. I'm going to show you what it looks like today and then give you um, a little bit of a ride on some of the right-of-way that's now road or private right-of-way. This is that same shot at Sloop and Highland Road showing how the trestle came across from that ravine up on the hill there went all the way across over here. The piers are still there. Looking the other direction uh, to the south, you can see the telephone poles kind of go th right through people's neighborhoods. I'm going to walk you over to the other edge of the ravine so you can see how massive this trestle was. It's kind of now a gas pipeline, apparently. But it went way down the hill and then way up the hill again to where I was before. In the foreground, you can see a couple of the uh, remaining bridge trestles. Zoom in a little bit here. Very deep ravine and a very large trestle. From the end of Harmony Lane, it comes to a dead end and a deep ravine. But you can see as it goes down and goes back up again, this is where the big Harmony trestle was going over Sloop Road near Highland in the North Hills. As soon as you would cross the trestle, you would then be on a flat surface. This road is a little bit narrower than it would normally be because it's right on top of the um, Harmony Inner Urban right away, which also explains as we come up here why there's a power plant right in the middle of this neighborhood, as that would have provided the electricity for the interurban to travel. I'm not sure how far Harmony Avenue goes, but this is. Uh, the Harmony Line interurban streetcar right away that headed to um, Newcastle. The line continued on its way up through the town of Ingemar. We're now at Ingemar Road, but we're still on the Harmony. Uh, interurban uh, railroad line crossing over and going up about a tenth of a mile the road ends and becomes the streetcar right away it's a private road I'm probably going to get yelled at imagine a riding this from Newcastle to Pittsburgh so you could go shopping at Boggs and Buell department store. There's a few homes back here so I don't mind driving it. But it looks like it's going to come to an end up here. Pretty amazing that this right-of-way was turned into a road and the average person would not even realize that it was a interurban streetcar right-of-way at one point. The road kind of jimmies off to the right here, but you can see how it went straight through at one time along the telephone poles. When you get down to the bottom of the hill, sure enough, this is Pine Creek Road. There's a big abutment along the way here. It shows the crossing 